And now the cone. It's the easiest to draw, but the hardest to render of the objects. Let's begin with half an ellipse. So I'm drawing in the bottom half, maybe just slightly higher than halfway there. Pick a point for your apex. I'm doing mine quite close to the ellipse so that I can use the side of the splat like a ruler. Carefully line those up to get a nice tangent there. Great. Begin your rendering by laying down a nice light value 1. You don't need a ruler to shade. I'm just showing you that as you move across, all of the lines need to point towards the apex. And that's the hard thing to get your head around. So I'm laying down my number 3 value now. And notice it's in the shape of a triangle. It's wider at the base than it is up at the apex. Now I'm blending the 3 into the 1. So I'm using a number 2 value. Let's do the same thing on the left. See how I'm doing more pencil work down the bottom and I'm not really doing much at the apex. Good! To finish off, we're adding a cutting line, a dark line right around the outside of the drawing. I'm going to use the ellipse on the splat to tidy up the bottom there. Most objects will have a slight curve or radius on them and that's where that cutting line comes from. Let's add the shadow. Again using the splat to just add a fine little shadow underneath makes it look like it's sitting on the table. Now for practice, I would try drawing a very much taller cone and try drawing one upside down. 